the technological trend that affects the most viewers' experiences of media these days is actually in the area of delivery, where there are very distinct extremes between the HD content that people want to receive at home and they're looking at uh, high definition content and very high definition screens. And on the other extreme, there is the, uh, uh, the narrow casting, which is very targeted media in low cost production, low resolution, however, delivered to them on their websites, PDAs, and uh, mobile phones. It's very clear that for editors and content creators, the distribution methods have a, a great effect on their work. Obviously, you don't produce the same looking content for the big screen and for the small screen. Simple examples could be uh, uh, graphics, um, uh, titles on an interview on a person. You're not going to do that for the small screen. Whereas if you produce for the big screen, you have to think how will it look when they compress it down because much of the content is being produced for the big screen and just repurposed for the small screen. And while it looks good on one medium, it doesn't look good on the other. So the editor or the content creator these days have to think that their content will either going to go to a small screen or repurpose to a small screen, and that affects greatly their creative decisions and aesthetics. The next big thing for content creators and editors, uh, it's not going to be a trick. It's going to be delivery format. Um, what I see in the future is a format confusion and format wars. Uh, similar to what we had in the beginning days of VHS formats. Whereas uh, tapeless acquisition in very high quality will create multi-formats in the delivery. There isn't one agreed upon format of HD even. And people will rush to market with a lot of content and there'll be great confusion over the formats. Future Media Concepts and NAB partner together to deliver many training events um, in the US and worldwide. And we have uh, about six, seven events around the world taking the uh, post-production brand from the Vega show to many other cities. And what we have coming up in the second part of 2008 is the New York post-production show in uh, New York City. We have the uh, editor's retreat in Mexico in January. And inter additional international events include post-production Israel, post-production India, and NAB London. So about five, six events training thousands of people on production and post-production uh, uh, technologies and trends.